drawing conclusions from patterns and themes. A conclusion is like the final chord in a song. It is the section in a research report where the researcher finds a chance of leaving a lasting impression. You have to state your conclusions in clear, simple language. It is in the conclusion where you describe the value of your research. Characteristics of conclusions Conclusions are, inferences, deductions, abstraction, implications, interpretations, general statements, and slash or generalizations based upon the findings. Conclusions should appropriately answer the specific questions raised at the beginning of the investigation in the order they are given under the statement of the problem. Conclusions should point out what were factually learned from the inquiry. Conclusions should be informed concisely that is, brief and short, yet they convey all the necessary information resulting from the investigation. Purpose of a conclusion Conclusions does the following, stress the importance of the thesis statement. Give the written work a sense of completeness. Leave a final impression on the reader. Demonstrates good organization. The conclusions should confirm for the reader that the report's purpose have been achieved. Importance of a good conclusion. A well-written conclusion provides you with important opportunities to demonstrate to the reader your understanding of the research problem. These include Presenting the last word on the issues you raised in your paper Summarizing your thoughts and conveying the larger significance of your study Identifying how a gap in the literature has been addressed Demonstrating the importance of your ideas Introducing possible new or expanded ways of thinking about the research problem. Strategies in writing conclusions. Here are some strategies for writing conclusions. Echoing your introduction, or simply reiterate or link ideas expressed in the other sections of the research. Challenging the reader by directing or showing how readers can apply the study in their own lives. Looking to the future by emphasizing the importance of your paper or redirecting the reader's thought process in looking at things more globally. Posing questions where the readers can gain new perspective on the topics or you may also bring your main ideas together to create a new meaning. In drawing and verifying conclusions from qualitative data among the most useful in the analysis are Nothing patterns and them these are recurring themes which put together many separate pieces of data. The data may be grouped according to theme. Making contrast and comparison. The responses gathered can be compared and contrasted so that differences can be noted. Clustering. This process refers to the grouping of data, then conceptualizing information that has similar patterns or characteristics. Counting. Qualitative research, as discussed is basically descriptive and goes beyond how much of something to describe topic under investigation. The conclusion is where you write your most important contributions to the paper I is where you describe the value of your research. Your conclusion slash s shows how well you understand the materials you have worked on. Thanks for watching my first video prepared by Rens Grill Tea on Co.